Hi, this is Joe Cerulli with a quick look at fast food. According to the Pew Research Center, fast food is the term given to food that can be prepared and served very quickly. While any meal with low preparation time could be considered fast food, typically the term refers to food sold in restaurants with preheated or precooked ingredients, and it usually comes in a package. The term fast food was recognized first in the dictionary back in 1951. But the fast food craze started way before that, back in June of 1902, when Joseph Horn and Frank Harted opened their first Automat restaurant in Philadelphia. An Automat was a fast food restaurant where simple foods and drink were served in vending machines. The first New York City Automat opened in July of 1912. These types of restaurants remained very popular into the 1960s. As the traditional fast food restaurants began to open in the mid-70s, Burger King started to replace most of the automats. White Castle is generally credited as the first fast food chain, founded in September 1921 in Wichita, Kansas. Many believe their steadfast refusal to franchise or take on any debt resulted in the chain remaining relatively small. There are about 420 White Castle restaurants in the United States, specifically in the Midwest, except for a significant discontinuous smattering of restaurants in the New York metropolitan region. White Castle is the only chain that does not have a restaurant in the city it began. They do, however, have a very successful retail and supermarket business nationwide. A&W Restaurants were arguably the first successful fast food franchise company. They started franchising in California back in 1923. The chain went international in 1950 when they opened in Winnipeg and Montreal. By 1960, A&W had 2,000 restaurants. But due to a lawsuit and franchisees being discontent, along with inconsistencies in the operations, the chain floundered to around 200 restaurants by 1989. Today, A&W operates roughly 1,200 restaurants in 16 countries. The average U.S. household spends about 13% of its budget on food. A high percentage of that is spent in restaurants, in particular, fast food restaurants. Americans spend $110 billion per year purchasing 50 million meals every day in over 160,000 fast food restaurants in the United States. This has created debate over the past decade, weighing the benefits that this industry has on the economy versus the negative impact, in particular, the increased obesity rate among the youth. 44% of heavy users, a term coined by Burger King back in 2006, eat at fast food restaurants every day, while 20% visited restaurants twice per week. The average fast food consumer will receive 37% of their daily calories from these meals. Now, many older people are working in fast food restaurants now. In the past three years, more than half the jobs created were in restaurants, many of them fast food restaurants. Today, only 16% of those jobs go to teens, down from 25% a decade ago. More than 42% of restaurants and fast food workers over the age of 25 have at least some college. That includes over 750,000 fast food workers with a bachelor's degree or higher. While many people criticize the industry for its low-paying wages, nearly 3 million Americans work in it. The Bureau of Labor Statistics say a growing portion of that is in fast food. That group now roughly equals the population of Mississippi. The U.S. Census Bureau said the fast food industry as a whole is still the worst paying in the United States. Workers are typically limited to part-time shifts capped around 24 hours a week and make less than $18,000 a year. The industry does not pay more because contrary to many people's beliefs, the profit margins just aren't there. In upcoming episodes, we're going to break down the dollars that are brought into each fast food restaurant and we'll talk about profitability. That's a quick look at fast food. I'm Joe Cerulli.